Well, the school year is now in full swing, and for some, the school tasks, the responsibilities, and the pressure can be overwhelming. While well, experts say that some amount of anxiety is normal, it can also impact a student's daily life and how they function. Mandy Gaither has the warning signs of academic anxiety and how to help a child get through it. From homework to tests and other activities, sometimes school can feel a little heavy. It's normal to experience all kinds of emotions. And when it comes to school and it comes to kids, they're no different. Licensed therapist Jody Baumstein with Children's Healthcare of Atlanta's Strong for Life program says that young people don't always have the language to tell us what they're feeling. That's why we have to look at their behavior as a sign and a form of communication and be curious about what it is that they're trying to communicate. Baumstein says warning signs can include stomach aches and headaches with no medical cause, avoiding school, procrastinating in the morning to intentionally delay going to class or miss the bus. Others may display a no care attitude about school or be the class clown acting like schoolwork doesn't matter. They might be worried about failing and would rather not even start or not even try and act like they don't care. Baumstein says to get to the root of what's going on by asking open-ended questions without leading the child, then listen and validate what's said instead of dismissing it. She says focusing on the effort, not the outcome, can also help ease pressure. So instead of, oh, I'm so proud of all the A's you've gotten this year. I'm proud of how hard you're working. Finally, help children find a balance. Don't allow school to be their entire identity. There's lots of time to be creative and unwind and relax and have fun. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. And Baumstein says that prioritizing healthy habits can also help us manage emotions and stress. That includes getting good quality sleep, plenty of physical activity, and eating nutritious foods. If a child is really struggling, she says that a licensed mental health professional can add additional support.